In this video series, we will complete a Revit structural project in small, easy steps. Please subscribe our channel for future updates. In our previous video, we created structural columns in Revit. Now let's create beams in Revit. Now go to Structure Ribbon and click on Beam button. From the Properties panel, choose Concrete Beams Rectangular and click on Edit Type. Duplicate this family to create your desired beam size. We will create a 9 inch by 18 inch beam. Now change the dimension parameters. Write 9 inch in width and 18 inch in depth. Now write beam number in type mark parameter. We will write PB1 here. We have created our desired beam family. Now let's draw this beam in level 1. We have our beam selected and modify place beam ribbon is active. Make sure chain checkbox is checked. Now click on the center line of column. And then keep selecting the center lines of columns. Our beams are being created underneath our wall. To view our beams, we will open 3D view. Here we can see our beams without architectural walls. To hide Revit architecture link, we will write VG. On the keyboard, this visibility graphics override screen will appear. Now click on Revit Link tab. Here we will uncheck the checkbox next to architecture file. Our Revit link has disappeared in our level 1 view. Now we will align our columns with beams. Go to Modify Ribbon and click on Align button. From Options bar check Multiple Alignment option. Now click on Edge of Beam as Source Alignment Line. And then click on Elements you want to align. Repeat the steps on the other side as well. Now we will unhide the Revit link. Our plinth beams are ready. We will copy these beams to our level 2. Click and make a window around our beams to make selection. When we finish selection, Filter button will appear on Modify Multi Selection Ribbon. Click on Filter button. Now click on Check None button, then select Structural Framing Girders only. Our beams have been selected. Now click on Copy to Clipboard button. From Paste drop-down option, click on Align to Selected Level. Choose Level 2 and press OK. Open Level 2 to see our beams. Let's make two more beams at this level. We will make another beam type for roof. Click on Edit Type. Now click on Duplicate and make roof beam of 9 inch by 24 inches. Change the parameters accordingly and write RB1 in type mark. Now select all the beams on the level, too. Now change the family type from Properties panel. Our beams are ready. In our next video, we will draw slab in Revit. What do you think about the video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.